I am the Geek, and you're watching Formers Friday. And today we've got Headmaster Scorchfire and Wing Windblade. I always say Wingblade, but it's Windblade. And I was honestly very surprised when I found this figure, and I'm like, oh, I need to snag this. So I snagged it, and I haven't seen her since, so I'm glad I did. And, um, so yeah, we got another Titan's Return figure here, and we got the head, which is Scorchfire. And... I think we've discussed how I don't like that they're two separate entities, but we don't need to get into that. Uh, the vehicle form looks pretty solid, pretty cool. Like, if you look down, obviously the illusion is lost a little bit. But, let's see. Uh, let's put Scorchfire in the cockpit. And it flies, well, as much as your imagination allows. It's just a plane, you know? Like, I do like how the turbines turn and stuff like that. That makes it really cool. So I guess she can hover, maybe, if that's what they're implying. And it's a really cool, it's a, it's an original build from what I've noticed. I haven't seen this build anywhere else yet, so that's a plus. A definite huge plus. This right here feels a little cheap. I don't know if it's supposed to be sticking out like that. But it's solid. It almost feels like it's supposed to crack open, but I'm not going to try it. Because the transformation does not call for that. But that's it for vehicle mode. Let's go ahead and take a look at robot mode. Okay guys, here's Wingblade and Scorchfire in robot mode. I'm loving this figure. She is lovely. Um, I think I screwed up at the shoulders, but that's okay. Because it's easily fixed. But him And I guess... In a sense, you can make her look like she's slouching. So, yeah, it wasn't a mixed transformation. She was just depressed for a minute. <laughs> she's pretty solid. I love Again, I love how this looks for the turbines. You can make them go up and, like, maybe display her with some string or something and make it look like she's hovering. And I just... I don't know. I feel like the posability gives you unlimited potential for display purposes. And the joints are all solid and... Secure, she's not going to stumble around, it's really awesome. And the head on this one, maybe it's, I, I feel like it's every figure, it's a crapshoot. But this specific one, the Headmaster feels solid. If The Titan, whatever we're calling it, feels solid. It's not wobbly, it's not feeling like it's going to break if you mess around with it too much. And I feel like you, you're really rolling the dice every time you open one of these figures and check that. Because I have some that feel very flimsy and scare the hell out of me, but this one is not one of those. So, as far as grading go, Wingblade gets a plus. She passes. She is very awesome as a figure, and I don't know much about her as a character other than what I saw in Combiner Wars. So, I'm very eager to see what she has coming up in that new show that they're doing for Titans Returns. But, that's it for Wingblade this week, and that's it for me this week, so... Please check out the Pop Culture Network to find more of these awesome reviews and more reviews on toys, comics, video games, all sorts of fun stuff. Uh, we've got a Twitter. We're on Facebook. There's a 24-hour hotline. Please check us out on all that stuff. And if you want to for if you want to find more of my stuff, you can check me out on the Geek Reviews on YouTube. So YouTube backslash Geek Reviews. And that should all be scrolling up if it hasn't already. So that's it for us this week. So, this is the Geek for the Pop Culture Network. Say good journey until next time.